What's up, y'all? It's your boy Grant back here with another episode of The Groovy Files. And today I will be talking about the new Lupe, Lupe Fiasco album, Samurai. Now, I ain't gonna lie, the first, when I heard what the concept was supposed to be, I was kind of off put because, you know, kind of the controversy around Amy Winehouse and everything like that. But I think Lupe being such an incredible rapper, I think. I'm not gonna say he could pull it off, but I listen to Lupe, one of my favorite rappers. I'm about this anyway. Um, I think the big thing with me on this project is that it sounds very Nujabees inspired, and when I say that, this feels like a very like it's contrastingly different from a lot of Lupe albums, but also at the same time, it. I don't want to say it's similar to Drogas Way, but it, it has some points in there where it reminds me of Drogas Way to an extent when it comes to like it being mellow or not. Um, I think my favorite track on the album is 100% Palaces. I feel like that's probably the most transparent or it feels like that's the most open Lupe has been in a while with us. Um... You know, like, as somebody that his career isn't the most, I'm trying to figure out the right way to put it, um, his career is very complex. And when I say his career is complex, I mean from the Atlantic deal to how he's viewed in the mainstream space to how who, to his catalog. I think Lupe is the definition of somebody that is widely respected but also i think he's been everywhere in his career not very a lot of rappers can say that not a lot of rappers can say i've been in mainstream i'm in the underground i'm in i'm in both like lupe i remember mixtape lupe with revenge of the nerds i remember enemy of the state i remember the cool friday not friday night nice. shit um food and liquor i remember Drive his way. I remember Tetsuo and you. I remember all these albums, and I feel like Lupe has really been everywhere. And I think what palaces, not palaces, but what Samurai reminds us of is that it feels like Lupe just getting back to having fun again. And when I say he having fun again, it feels like he. I ain't gonna say he not trying too hard because you know it's music. Like it's your it's your old music. Like you you're supposed to try hard. You're supposed to put your all into it. But it feels like for the first time in a while, I feel like Lupe genuinely was having fun with this. No matter how you feel about the quality of the project, I think Lupe, when he's just rapping and it's free flowing and you don't feel like he putting in, it don't feel like he putting in too much effort, but like in a good way. Because you can tell when somebody kind of trying hard and it doesn't seem effortless I hope I hope y'all know what I get what I'm saying but it feels like it came natural him that's the best word I'm trying to put for it um I don't know I think I like this one over um drill music in Zion um uh, and driver's wave not because I don't think those albums are bad I think those albums are very good I just think this one is Easily the most digestible album that Lupe put out in a while. I'm not docking points for him being uh, being great or rapping about complex topics, but I feel like it's the most digestible, and this is the most this is the album that flexes his skill set in such a short span of time. Um, other than that, I appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Sorry about the the wait. Um, but I'll be back with more soon. Appreciate y'all. Y'all be easy.